On May 4th, 2020, as part of a documentary series called Plandemic, I released an interview featuring science whistleblower, Dr. Judy Michaelvitz. The interview received fierce backlash for spreading what the media declared dangerous conspiracy theories. As a father and a veteran media producer, there is no way that I would release harmful information into the world during a moment as vulnerable as now. I had known Dr. Judy for two years before filming her interview. I read her book, then thoroughly researched and vetted her story. After interviewing her legal team, former colleagues, and people who have known her for decades, one thing I can say without question is, Judy Michaelvitz is one of the most honest, caring, and courageous women I've ever known. Why then would the most powerful forces of big tech, politics, media, and medicine go to such extreme measures to silence her voice all over the world? And why did all of the debunkers invest so much ink and airtime defaming Dr. Judy's character while avoiding very real revelations pertaining to patents, conflicts of interest, and the deadly corruption pervading our global health organizations? There's an industry that is paid to go after and target journalists, whistleblowers, and inundate our consciousness and the images we see to try to ruin, destroy, or smear the idea that they don't like or the person who's delivering it. You run the money through a series of cover organizations to make it look like you're funding a U.S. operation, which then subcontracts with the Wuhan Institute of Virology. Normalcy only returns when we largely vaccinated the entire global population. This will be the new normal until a vaccine is developed. Until we find a vaccine, going back to normal means putting lives at risk. We need to produce it and to deploy it in every single corner of the world. Full vaccination of our children and pregnant women. Development of new vaccines, therapeutics and diagnostics. And there are effective vaccines and therapeutics are developed. It's a vaccine. We've already bought the syringes. We already know where it's going to happen. We're thinking about what that's going to be. It's all part of this plan. Our military is now being mobilized, so at the end of the year, we're going to be able to give it to a lot of people very, very rapidly. Because if you can keep people from assembling, guess what they're not talking about? They're not talking about the issues of the campaign. If you can keep people in their homes, the only source of information that you can have is what you curate for them. Now I know how to target my electorate. They're in the only place I allow them to be, being fed the only message I'm allowing them to hear through a media that I control.